Thank you all for joining us for today's Arizona Tourism Virtual Hiring Event, which is a first for us. You know, as everybody I think on this call probably knows, the tourism industry was one of the hardest hit by the pandemic. Travel shut down across the country, and unfortunately, many of the people that were employed in our industry had to find work elsewhere, or in many cases, had to stay home with children or help out with family. But now we need people to come back to work. Many of our hotels and resorts are operating without full capacity because of the staffing challenges. But travelers are planning vacations, as we know, as we're seeing on the news every day, and business travelers are coming in for conferences. So we want to be able and ready to provide the service that people have come to expect in Arizona. We want to also let people know that jobs in the hospitality industry can really lead to strong career paths. You ask any general manager of a hotel or resort where they started, and most likely it was in the kitchen or it was at the front desk or in housekeeping or valet. So this industry really can provide a fulfilling and long career. I've been in the industry 30 years myself, and I can just tell you it's a great, great industry to work in. So we're really thankful today for our partnership with Pipeline AZ and Arizona at Work. We're looking forward to having discussions with job seekers about careers in the industry and connecting them with all those people who need to hire right now. So with that, I want to thank you again for being here, and I want to introduce Mary with Pipeline to explain the process today. Mary. Hi, so happy to be here. Um, my name is Jasmine. I'm actually filling in for Mary today, uh, representing Pipeline Arizona. Um, again, really happy to be here. Um, for those of you tuning in, just a reminder, um, this event um, will begin the candidate matching portion of the event um, after this is over today. Um, so you can continue to match with um, relevant employers based on your skill set. So quick reminder to upload your resume onto Pipeline Arizona, and you will start matching with relevant jobs um, as you're on your career search and exploration. So, um, and with that, I will pass it to Julianne. Good morning, everybody. I am Julianne Drew with Arizona Network, and Arizona Network is a statewide workforce development network, and we provide free services to employers and job seekers. And on the, um, I guess we could go to the next slide. Uh, we provide services and resources to job seekers as they pursue employment opportunities. And we assist employers on the other end to recruit, develop, and retain the best employees for their needs. On the next slide, we have a, some, uh, a list of some of the job seeker services that we offer across the state with Arizona at Work. Uh, computer access um, at our resource centers, uh, we can get job leads for you, career exploration. Uh, we can help with resumes. Uh, we do um, interview techniques, different uh, um, sessions um, that we could do in person with you and virtual. Uh, we send out a job blast, and we can also um, provide the credentialing for an Arizona career readiness credential. And then we also um, can get you access to occupational skills training. So all of these things you can learn about on maricopa.gov slash find a job. And then on the next slide is a job blast that we send out a couple times a week. And you can just text 22828 to AZ at work. And this will come out to you weekly. Um, it will send you job leads, um, information on different industry sectors, um, you know, focus on the hospitality industry and all those job leads that are open there. And then on the next slide is our uh, main contact. So um, we are a network uh, statewide. So if you go to www.arizonaatwork.com, you can access all these services. So in your particular area, if you're in Wickenburg or Scottsdale or wherever you happen to be, um, we're there out there to help you. So next, I am going to throw this over to Arizona State Parks and Trails, and Dan Roddy is going to talk with you. Well, thank you very much, Julian. This is a, a great opportunity for me to be with you today to talk about something I'm passionate about, and that's Arizona State Parks and Trails. Uh, we have a number of locations throughout the state. 
uh, as the, the number one source for outdoor recreation for people across the state of Arizona. Uh, we have a lot of opportunity. It's a fast growing segment of tourism. And it's something where uh, we think we, we offer a lot to the people that would come on board with us. Um, I'm happy to see the next slide. As it says here, you know, there's 15 recreation parks, seven day use parks, uh, and something that's often uh, not thought of are historic parks. Uh, the Tombstone Courthouse, for example, is an Arizona State Park, as is the Reardon Mansion. So we have a wide spectrum of jobs to offer people. We think they provide you with a, a great career path. Uh, we also are very appealing to people who are looking for that second career, or you've retired from one profession and you're looking for something to, to fill your time. Uh, we have positions that would appeal to that. Um, we, we have, as an umbrella organization, we're also uh, inc included in our, our repertoire would be the State Historic Preservation Office the off-highway vehicle program. Uh, we also administer the trail grants. Uh, if if you, hiking is something of, of passion for you, uh, we have a lot of opportunity to do it, trail maintenance, trail development, those types of things. Um, I'd be happy to go to the next slide, please. Uh, as a state of Arizona employer, uh, we offer the full suite of state employee benefits. Uh, we have a great pension program as well as the, the typical things that you'd have, 10 paid holidays, uh, you accrue vacation time from day one as a full-time employee, as well as sick leave. Uh, we have a very strong uh, benefit package that, that is appealing to people. And one of the, the biggest things about it is uh, with outdoor recreation as an essential service, um, we're working year round, uh, we're working in the outdoors. Uh, this job is never the same two days in a row. Uh, we, we entertain, we bring a lot of people uh, to our communities. Um, and it's something where uh, there is a great opportunity to, to experience that and be involved with that. As people are looking to see where can I go to work and make a difference, Arizona State Parks and Trails really provides that opportunity. Uh, we can see the next slide, please. Uh, currently, this is a list. We, we post all of our uh, positions at the azstatejobs.gov as well as you'll see our website down there, azstateparks.com. Uh, this is an example of some of the positions that we have right now, and you can see that there are a wide range. Uh, there, there's locations across the state of Arizona. Uh, so you know, regardless of where you're at in our great state, there's a state park, hopefully not too far from you, that it has an opportunity that might be appealing. Um, you'll also note on there, uh, something that's a little more specialized, the archeological compliance specialist. Uh, that works in our, our central office in Phoenix with the State Historic Preservation Office. So regardless of your background, uh, I truly believe that we have something to offer you. Uh, we, we work on employee development. We do have career path positions. We work on that very hard. Uh, it's something that we're continuously improving. Uh, there's no question that people can come into our agency and build the skill sets necessary to move up. As Debbie was saying at the top of the uh, of the the the, the event today, um, a lot of our people that are now in management positions started as a regular park ranger and worked their way up. Um, we have on the job training that people are able to take advantage of. Uh, and because of the staffing, you're going to have the opportunity to do just about everything that we do. So you will develop your skills. Uh, if we could go to the next slide, please. And that's the end of my slides. But I, if I had to, to sum it up, I'd say, with the Arizona State Parks and Trails, it's work that makes a difference. Um, we're very fortunate that the people that come out to our parks are enjoying their, their time, it's their leisure activity, uh, be it boating, hiking, bird watching, uh, off highway vehicle um, experiences. Those are all things that we offer and those are all things that we need workers to help provide for people. Uh, one of the greatest things that we have here is um, in my current position at Lake Havasu State Park on the West Coast, of Arizona, um, we have things that, that people 10, 15, 20 years ago um, put into place that people are still enjoying today. So the work that we do each and every day, we like to believe is leading to a legacy that our children and grandchildren are gonna be able to benefit from. So it's very rewarding. I'd encourage you all to take a strong look at it. And I thank you very much for your time today. Thank you, Dan. It sounds like some great opportunities across the state. So next, uh, we're going to hear from Marie Savage, and she represents the Marriott International brand. 
So take it away, Marie. Good morning, everybody. It's great to be here with you today. I would like to tell you just a little bit about myself. My name is Marie Savage. Um, I have over 27 years with Marriott um, as a whole. I was actually raised in Ireland and immigrated to England and Germany and, and came out to the US of A. I've lived and worked in four different countries, six different states, and this is my 13th opportunity with Marriott here at the Renaissance Phoenix downtown. If that tells you anything about Marriott, it tells you that it's a great place to work. Um, your career is yours, you own it, you decide on where you go and what you want to do. There is lots of opportunities with Marriott. Um, and Mr. Marriott's philosophy is if you take care of the associate, the associate will take care of the guest and the guest will come back. And that is what I like most about Marriott is it's take care culture and how we take care of the people that are here. I myself um, started as a housekeeper in London. Um, I've worked as a server, room service, front desk, and worked all my way up in the HR discipline. And that shows you that, just like Debbie said at the very start, you can start anywhere and you can go anywhere. And Married is one of those companies that you can do that with. If you wouldn't mind turning to the next slide. So Marriott has over 450,000 associates. Um, there's 86 different languages spoken. Um, we have over 7,300 properties and growing and 30 brands all around 134 countries and territories in the world. Just as a little history on Marriott, Marriott started as a nine seat root beer stand in 1927 in Washington, DC, and it's grown from that. In 1957, that is when Marriott went into hotels and they opened their first hotel in Washington, DC. And it has expanded and growing. Um, in the mid eighties, we went to, in, you'll see many different brands of hotels like the extended stay. We um, started that in, in the mid eighties. Um, right now we're an innovative country uh, company um, with hospitality ho hotels all around the world. Um, so we are here to shape the future of travel doing that with taking care of our culture and our people that are here with the business. So if you want to be part of something meaningful and travel the world and contribute to one of Marriott's core values, which is take care of the world in our spirit 360, you can do that with Marriott. If you wouldn't mind going to the next slide. So Marriott, um, we have very much like um, Daniel said, very competitive benefits. We have a lot of travel perks, which is one of the most generous discounts that we have. We can uh, stay in hotels at a discounted rate. Um, we get discounts on food, discounts if you play golf, discounts in the spa, and that is open to everybody that works with Marriott. After 25 years with Marriott, you actually get free stays, you become a charter member, and that's what a lot of people strive for. We have a lot of um, um, associates that have long-term years with Marriott and, and um, continue to stay and grow with Marriott. Um, we acknowledge leadership and exceptional service and hard work. Um, we encourage people to uh, do different things and learn new skills. Um, we reward a long service every five years when you're with Merit, there is a nice gift that you get and a nice benefit that you have as well. Um, we have growth opportunities. We believe in taking care of you. We believe in training. Uh, Marriott is known for its training and development, and we empower you to do that. It's not up to me as a leader. Um, we help and we're here to support the uh, associate, but um, the associate can grow their career. We have many opportunities to do, to do that. Um, with Marriott as well, we offer uh, we offer Voyager, which is um, how to become a manager. It's a manager in training program that we offer. It's called the Voyager. You spend a year in a hotel and learn all the systems. Um, we also offer, offer intern opportunities for people who want to work seasonal work or summer work or need experience uh, so that they can get onto the next level. So there's, there's many opportunities out there. Um, another benefit that I want to go to back and talk to is our 401k plan. We have a 401k plan 
that merit will match up to 7%, which is huge now. That's a huge benefit and a great savings for people's future. If you wouldn't mind going to the next slide. With that being said, with over our 30 brands, as you can see here on the bottom of the slide, we are hiring. If you go to careers.marriott.com, you will see, uh, it will open you up to all the Marriott hotels that have postings. When you go into the career site, you click on the hotel or the area that you're interested and you will see right now we have up to 300 already positions posted and up to 80 Marriott manage Marriott manager positions posted here just in Arizona. Um, there's a lot of a lot of opportunities and, and something some jobs that people don't even think about is in administration like accounting or sales. Um, we have loss prevention officers and leaders available. Um, in the rooms you have a uh, concierge attendant, front office, housekeeping, culinary, um, in some of our properties and our resort properties, we have recreation like golf attendants, spas, engineering positions, preventative maintenance, groundskeeper, uh, purchaser. So lots and lots of, of varied positions that people may not even know that are available in the hotel uh, here in Arizona, but there is something there for everybody. Even if you're starting out as uh, an entry level position in a housekeeper or a cook, and you can grow into one of the leaders that we have in rooms or front office or um, loss prevention. So lots of opportunity all over Arizona area for Maria. Um, so it, there are many different brands like the Renaissance brand. Um, our guests like to go out and experience the DNA of the neighborhood in the destination that they are visiting. They're like explorers. They like to go out and find out local uh, unique places in the area. The JW Marriott, it enables you to focus on the whole you. So each hotel is tailored toward a specific guest. The Marriott brand is the inventive class. They, they guests like to leave inspired and able to go out there and do their day. The Sheraton is the world's gathering place where the world comes together. So each hotel has a unique uh, brand idea, which how they identify themselves. So if you wouldn't mind moving on to the next slide. And this just gives you a picture of the 14 different hotels that we have in the Arizona market. Um, you can see on the map where they're located. So wherever you are in Arizona, there's a hotel close to you. All these hotels are managed by Marriott. Um, and uh, you go to our careers.marriott.com site, you search the location that you're looking for, you can see that we have the Ritz-Carlton and Dove Mountain on there, and also in Tucson we have the JW Marriott Star Pass Resort, they're a little bit outside um, the core uh, downtown area, our, our suburbs of Arizona, but they are still uh, there, they are Marriott, you go to the same website, you can put in the hotel or the job, um, and search and uh, apply for a position. That's all the information that I have for you today. Thank you for your time and we look forward to seeing you in our hotels. Thank you, Marie. We appreciate your overview of Marriott. So next up, uh, we have Aramark and we're going to hear from Shadow Shopman. Good morning, everybody. I just want to take a second to thank you all for joining us today. Um, so my name is Shadow and I work for uh, Airmark over at Lake Powell Resorts and Marinas. Um, between all across Lake Powell, we have four different marinas um, that we offer services for. So I'm going to go into detail just a little bit about um, what positions we're hiring for, the type of amenities we have, and, um, and so forth. If we can have the next slide, please. Perfect. So this is just going to be a breakdown of some of the positions that we have available. Um, we are um, in the recreational and leisure line of business. So we're going to have um, a hotel and laundry. We have management positions available, um, various food and beverage between front of house and back of house. We offer retail services, um, maintenance, transportation. Um, we also do service the Colorado River. We do um, the guided trips down the river. So we have river guide positions available. Um, 
And there are even more outside of just what's listed here. We have some administration positions available, um, just a variety. And for the most part, these jobs are gonna be seasonal. We are a seasonal based location. Um, our season typically runs from the beginning of May through October, sometimes into November, just depending on the needs of the business and kind of what that season is gonna look like. Um, next slide, please. So these are just going to be some perks that we have that we offer for our employees. Uh, they're going to range from food and retail discounts of around 20%. Uh, we do offer free kayak and paddle board and paddle boat rentals to our employees. Um, also really wonderful discounts on power boats, pontoons, houseboat rentals. Um, we have few different bonuses. We have a couple different sign-on bonuses going on right now. We have our seasonal bonus incentive. Um, and we also just started an employee referral incentive. Um, so if you apply and, and you're offered a position and you've got friends that maybe you want to come with, you can always refer them to apply as well. Um, as long as they complete, uh, like I think it's a 90-day probationary period, then you'll get that referral bonus. Um, and you can as I said, there are a couple other bonuses that we're offering um, for sign-on bonuses and such like that. Um, utilizing these discounts are very, very popular with our employees. There's some really awesome discounts, and especially the, the free rentals and things like that. We encourage you to get out and enjoy our beautiful scenery and just um, get to know Glen Canyon National Recreation Area. Um, next slide, please. So these are gonna be some of our community facilities. Um, we do offer employee housing to those who qualify for seasonal positions. Um, we have housing on all four of our properties that we're hiring for. Um, we have recreation centers that are gonna vary from having full kitchens, theater rooms, laundry facilities for our employees to use. Most, um, we have fitness centers as well. Some of our recreation centers are gonna have gaming areas, um, libraries and things like that. Uh, we also offer fitness centers at a couple of our locations. Um, most of our rooms are gonna be dorm style housing. Um, what that kind of looks like right now, um, we're kind of in between single occupancy housing and dual occupancy housing, just depending on where the CDC guidelines for COVID go, um, but the dorm rooms are, are really nice as well and just a great way to kind of um, provide an extra bonus for people that are going to be traveling so far to apply for us. Um, next slide, please. And these are going to be different ways that you can stay in touch or you can go to apply. You can find us on Facebook. You can go straight to lakepowelljobs.com um, and you'll be able to view all of our current and open positions and apply directly from that website. You can also send us an email or email your resume to lphr at airmark.com. That's a shared mailbox that everybody here in the human resources office is going to maintain. Um, or if maybe you don't have access to a computer, you're more than welcome to text Summer Parks at 63000. And you can apply through that texting service as well. There'll be an automated um, chat person that you'll text with and they'll kind of um, get to know what you're looking for, let you know what those opportunities and careers could potentially be, um, and assist you with the application process there. And that is all I have for you today. Great. Thank you for sharing all those opportunities, Shadow. We appreciate that. Next up, we have Nicole Mendez, and she is with Hyatt Hotel. Yes, good morning, everybody. Um, thank you so much for letting me be a, a part of this wonderful opportunity. Um, so yes, I'm with Hyatt Hotels. I support now six hotels here in the Valley. Um, that includes Hyatt Regency Scottsdale, Onda Scottsdale, um, the Scottsdale Resort at McCormick Ranch, Tempe Mission Palms, Royal Palms, and Hyatt Regency Phoenix. So um, we definitely have grown a lot within the past few years, even despite of the pandemic. Um, we're growing and, and continuing to grow, which is wonderful. So with that, um, I kind of wanted to dive into our purpose a little bit. So our purpose as a company is to care for people so they can be their best. So with that, um, our goal is to always continue to care for our colleagues and our guests. And in return, you can then be yourself, your best self at work. Um, next slide, please. 
Um, so a little bit about our journey. So our journey is the foundation of everything that we do. So our, I'm sorry, our purpose is, is part of the foundation with everything that we do. So um, we live our purpose and demonstrate care for our guests and to our colleagues. Um, and our goal is if we get that right, we can then be, be the preferred hospitality brand um, for our colleagues, our guests, our owners, our operators, community members, and shareholders. Next slide. Um, a little bit about our values and support behaviors. So um, our biggest values is going to be respect, integrity, humility, empathy, creativity, and fun. Um, so really, this is something that we look for in all of our colleagues. A lot of our positions are entry level, um, and we can't teach someone to be nice. But if you are genuinely kind, um, and a lot of these values really are, you know, play a part of who you are as a person, um, those are the type of people that we can look for. So we're open to training. We will offer that on, on property support. Um, I started off as a deli attendant eight years ago at Hyatt Regency Phoenix, um, not knowing that hospitality was going to be my career going into it. Um, and it's definitely been a journey that they've taken great care of me um, and allowed me to continue to, to progress as a leader. Next slide. Um, so awesome. So our career. So find your place. When you join the Hyatt family, you're joining a world of possibilities. So like I mentioned, I started off, um, a lot of our, our leaders actually start off in very entry level positions and then work their way up from there. So it's always fun to hear our GMs talk about where they started. Um, we had one of our GMs at our property start off as a PBX operator and just continue to grow from there. So the opportunities are endless. Um, we have more than 127 colleagues throughout 65 countries. So we really welcome anybody and, and all people to join the Hyatt family. Um, some of our benefits that we do offer is free uniforms and cleaning of your uniform, um, paid time off, medical health care, paid family bonding time, adoption assistance, um, discounted and free rooms. That's probably the free rooms is probably one of the benefits that our colleagues talk about the most and rave about. Um, and with that, when you do go to one of our hotels as a Hyatt colleague, you also get 50% off of the um, a food and beverage excluding alcohol, um, but so that you can really enjoy the resort too. Everyone works so hard to take care of our guests. Um, so we wanna make sure that you enjoy your time when you are on vacation or on a nice trip, um, definitely get to enjoy that benefit. And then we also offer up to $1,000 for tuition reimbursement per calendar year. Um, and we also open that up towards wellness. So for gym memberships, um, workout classes, anything that you feel it's going to better yourself as a colleague. We want to be able to reimburse you for that as well. Um, and then, of course, excellent training and development um, at our properties. And some of our properties do have property specific benefits, um, such as bus cards, especially at the downtown Phoenix property. Um, they have a bus card. They have a light rail um, discounted pass. So definitely anything that we can do to help with that commute. And then we do offer um, employee dining at some of our hotels as well. So you'll get free meals, um, breakfast, lunch, and then dinner, which I think is always a great, a great perk because um, it's important to feel like it's your home away from home since I know a lot of times we're spending so much time at work. So um, Hi is a wonderful company. You know, I've been with them now, like I mentioned, eight years. Um, and the opportunities are endless. So if you visit careers.hyatt.com, that's where you're gonna see all of our current openings. Um, right now, all six hotels are looking for kind of the similar positions, food and beverage with servers, um, server assistants and um, uh, bussers. Um, and then we have some, a lot of positions in culinary. So we have some entry level cooks um, all the way up to a lead line cook position. Um, and then our spa is seeking some massage therapists, cosmetologists, spa attendants, um, and then engineering. We're also looking for general maintenance engineers. So um, we're also always looking for great people to join the Hyatt family. So if you're interested, please visit careers.hyatt.com. Um, and I hope to see your application. Thank you. Thank you, Nicole, for going through the Hyatt brand with us. Uh, next up, I'd like to introduce you to Wendy Dodd, and she is with Zantera. And hi, my name's Wendy, and I work for the Zantera Travel Collection. So we do operate in numerous national parks around the West, and we also have some other facilities that are located near some of our national parks. So we are in Mount Rushmore, Rocky Mountain National Park, Yellowstone National Park, Glacier, Death Valley, and then in the Grand Canyon area, we're at the south rim of the Grand Canyon, along with operating the Grand Canyon Railway and Hotel and the Grand Hotel um, in Arizona. 
And you can go to the next slide for us. Um, and so I have worked here, um, I work actually in Yellowstone National Park for the last 12 years and I recently transitioned over um, to our corporate office, but I started working in Yellowstone right out of college. I worked there for a couple of years. I worked in the Employee Recreation Center, um, taking people backpacking. Um, we do softball intramural leagues um, in the park in the summer, um, along with a lot of other activities just for our employees. And so in the winter, kind of loved living the lifestyle of seasonal work. So I worked a couple of winters in Yellowstone also, which are a little different. But um, in the winter, I did work in housekeeping and I worked in our ski shop one winter along with being a host. Um, and then in the summer, I spent a couple summers doing the employee recreation um, program, but I also post-seasoned and stayed after the rec centers closed and worked maintenance and in human resources. So I kind of have made my way around, um, certainly Yellowstone. So I've been getting, it's been great to get to know some of the other parks, but I did leave for a while. But once you start working in the national parks, it's kind of a big draw to come back to the parks. So um, I did come back here about 12 years ago. Um, and it's great to, to kind of be back in the area again. But some of our perks, kind of working at the, in the Arizona area there at the hotels, we do um, do a referral program also, and we also have employee housing. Um, we have a pretty large learning and development program, a wellness program, um, some phone discounts, and then um, kind of your standard um, employee discounts um, with some of the activities. And then you can go to the next slide. So some of our Positions that we have available are going to be pretty common with your hospitality. So cooks, servers, hosts, bartenders. We have a few management positions in the area to um, housekeeping server. I think there's a dining room supervisor position also. Um, and then kind of outside that maybe some other folks don't have. We have some mule packers, some horse wranglers, and a few tour guide positions also that are available. Um, you can go to the next slide. So housing and meals are available at all three of those locations. Um, along with that, we do have a employee transfer program. So if you um, are looking at transferring maybe to one of the other parks or properties that we operate in, um, there's some potential to do that. Um, some of our parks are seasonal, especially here um, in Northern areas of the West. So if you are interested, you can certainly work at, um, reach out to me. Um, I'm at wdod at zantera.com. Um, but all of our positions are at all of our parks are posted on our website at zantera.com under the career section. So thank you. Thank you, Wendy. Sounds like some great opportunities out there in the park system. Uh, next, we have Shaylin Apodaca. She is with Square One Concepts. And she will go over some of uh, her restaurant brands that we have in the area. Shaylin, you're on mute still. Sorry, I unmuted my phone, but I didn't unmute here. Um, I just want to thank everyone for being with us here today um, and giving us the opportunity to talk with you a little bit about what we do. Um, so I'm Shay. I am from Square One Concepts. Um, so we're a team full of really determined individuals driven to create a unique and lasting restaurant and nightlife concept that provide memorable experiences for our guests and our communities as well. Um, some of our restaurant concepts include cold beers and cheeseburgers, which is probably the most popular one. It is um, the one concept where we have the most locations. We also have bourbon and bones, which is more of a fine dining experience. We have Wasted Grain and the Funky Monk, which are both bars and nightclubs. Wasted Grain is located in um, Old Town Scottsdale, and the Funky Monk is down in Tucson, right by the college. And then we have Famous 48 in Scottsdale as well, which really kind of goes after the State 48 feel in Arizona, everything Arizona driven. And it's really a nice atmosphere there as well. Um, so we have a total of 17 restaurants across the Valley in Tucson. 
and we currently have roughly 65 positions open within the company. And this also includes positions in our corporate office, restaurant managers, back of the house and front of the house positions, as well as security at our night uh, club concepts as well. If you want to move to the next slide. Um, so this is just a little bit about our benefits. We are a second chance employer with a competitive benefits package that includes 40 hours of PTO for all employees, not just full time. You get a free meal on each scheduled workday. And then it, when you're not at work, you get 50% dining discount at all cold beers and cheeseburgers locations, and then 25% at bourbon and bones. We also include a wellness program that includes compensation for completing wellness activities. And then we have healthcare benefits for full-time employees that include medical insurance, vision, dental, health savings accounts, and also pet insurance as well. Um, if you want to move to the next slide. This right here is just a list of some of our current open positions. Not listed on this here are our corporate positions. So in our corporate office right now, we're currently hiring for an accounts payable clerk, a director of finance and accounting, and then a social media and marketing coordinator. So in addition to what you see here, we also have corporate office. Um, positions open that you can find either using the QR code that's on every one of our slides or by going to squareoneconceptsinc.com slash careers. Go ahead and go to the next slide here. And this last one, I thought it was really important to include current employee reviews. I know for me, culture is really important when it comes to looking for a new job. So. We have an extremely high CEO rating. Um, he's actually in the process of possibly getting an award for um, a top-rated CEO. Um, and this is just a few of our current employee reviews. So 100% of our, our employees look forward to interacting with their team every day. 80% of our employees report that they're happy with their work-life balance. And that's extremely rare in the hospitality industry as well. And there's just a few other blurbs here at the bottom. So again, you can use the QR code on any of the slides or go to squareoneconceptsinc.com and go visit our career page there. Thank you. Thank you, Shay. Appreciate you sharing the information about um, your restaurant. So next up we have Blessing McGanless Vasquez. Um, she is with Discover Salt River and Talking Stick Entertainment District. So go ahead, Blessing. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for being here today with us. Uh, today, I'm representing the Salt River Indian community and our pride and joy, the Talking Stick Entertainment District. Uh, for those of you who don't know who we are, we are a sovereign nation, one of 22 tribes in the state of Arizona. We are located uh, smack in the middle of the Phoenix metropolitan area adjacent to Mesa, Tempe, the town of Fountain Hills, and we actually share a Scottsdale address with our neighbors to the west. So many of the properties that I'm going to talk about today, um, you will recognize and you may not even know that you visited tribal land when you did visit them. So um, go ahead and move to the next slide. The Talking Stick Entertainment District is a point of pride for the Salt River Indian community. It is conveniently located off the 101 Pima Freeway. Uh, so no matter what uh, area of the valley that you live in, you are able to uh, quickly access us, I believe. And um, we have grown exponentially over the last decade and we continue to do so. In the past 18 months, we opened four new properties. So um, the Talking Stick Entertainment District is the place to play. We consider ourselves Arizona's playground. And we hope that um, you will recognize some of the names that I'm sharing today and realize that they are also a great place to work. So this is kind of a, a map that shows the area and how close everything is to, to one another. And we'll go to the next slide, please. As I mentioned, I will be sharing uh, on behalf of many of our district partners and properties. So um, I am speaking on behalf of them <laughs> today. So our first one is uh, Octane and Mavericks. Octane Raceway is a Valley favorite. They've been here for quite some time and we absolutely love having them and the energy that they bring to the district. Their sister property that just opened last year in March uh, is called Mavericks. They're home to bowling, 
a laser tag, um, an amazing restaurant, and a patio that they share with Octane Raceway. Uh, they are looking for a wide variety of, um, of positions to fill. Their rate of pay is anywhere from $14 to $19 an hour, and they do currently offer a, a $500 signing bonus after a 90-day probation period. Their um, benefits are available to all employees with a 30 plus hour per week uh, status. And they are looking to fill not only uh, full-time but also part-time um, employment opportunities. So if you're looking for just something to do before school, after school, uh, when the kids are at school, uh, things like that, we are your place to be. Um, Medieval Times is also fairly new. Uh, they're under two years old. And if you have not been, this is the, uh, it's a theater experience that just comes to life every day. And they're looking to fill 20 positions that vary from servers to cash control, squires. Uh, the rate of pay is anywhere from $9 for a uh, servers and bar that includes tip or not including tips, excuse me, uh, up to their kitchen. And they also, um, have amazing fun benefits that include gym membership and then um, a length of stay or length of play with them as an employee uh, will determine your benefit level. All right, next slide, please. The Talking Stick Entertainment District is home to um, several different hotel properties. And the, uh, the one that was with us the longest is our two Marriott properties. We are a dual Marriott home. So we have the courtyard, uh, Scottsdale Salt River, and the residents in Scottsdale Salt River that share not only courtyard space, but also a pool and a general manager. They were number one on TripAdvisor for over a year at the courtyard, uh, and that is in large part to our servant leader, Ms. Ann Svelich, who is the general manager for both properties. Um, so if you are looking to just have amazing leadership who wants to build you up, um, as was mentioned before, Marriott is a fantastic company and they are always looking for, uh, for great staff there. Um, they do offer benefits for full-time employees after 90 days and then for part-time employees after one year of employment. Our partners at Great Wolf Lodge, Arizona, again, fairly new to market. Uh, they just won resort of the year for their brand. Again, I think that is largely in part to their leadership and um, this, this is such a great place to work because it is, it's a water park and it's um, an entertainment venue in addition to a resort property. And they are looking to hire 30 positions across the board. So they're looking for their sales department, for front desk, for aquatics, for engagement with the kiddos. So you can do, you know, you can lead yoga with kids every single day. So uh, just depending on your, um, your desire, they offer a wide variety. Uh, they start at $13 an hour uh, and rate of pay depends on the position and all of those when you do visit their website, all of those rates are included on the job description, which is really nice. Uh, all full time employees are eligible for benefits at Great Wolf Lodge, Arizona. Next slide, please. And the last full time property that I'd like to talk about is Top Golf. Um, they are a very strong brand in Arizona. They have several um, properties throughout Arizona, Southern Arizona and the West Valley included uh, with ours. But we're going to talk specifically about the Scottsdale Salt River location. Um, we are looking to fill over 100 positions at Top Golf, um, looking for bay hosts, food runners, dishwashers, line cooks, maintenance. Um, the rate of pay here is, starts at $12 and makes its way up. Uh, Full-time employees do receive benefits. Part-time employees can purchase benefits. This is a high, um, high energy, fast-paced place for you to work. Uh, it is an indoor-outdoor entertainment experience. Um, people are just there to have a good time and enjoy one another's company. And uh, this is, again, another great uh, leadership team to work with and for. So uh, I would encourage you to look to them as well. Additional partners that I'm not going to talk specifically about today, but are, that are also part of the district and all of them are also looking for staff uh, to join their team are listed there. You can find more information on our website, discoversaltriver.com and just click on the jobs button there. Um, the Salt River Indian Community and the Talking Stick Entertainment District have probably been a place that you have played before with family and friends. 
And we want you to know that you can now join the team and come play with us every single day. So uh, we look forward to having our partners talk with you in the, in the coming days and weeks. So thank you so much for your time, appreciate it. Thank you, Blessing. It was great to learn about all your properties and, uh, and different brands that are under you. So next we have um, Hilton Hotels and we are welcoming Raquel Columber and she's gonna talk to you about the Hilton brand. Good morning, everyone. Um, can you make sure everyone can see me? Um, I'm actually gonna be talking about Dimension Development which oversees the Hilton Scott Still Resort as well as Doubletree Resort. Um, the Hilton is going to be located right off of Lincoln Road in Scottsdale, and the Doubletree is right down the street located off of Jackrabbit in Scottsdale. Um, it's a very easy location to get to. It's right off of the 101 and about McDonald's um, in between that location. Um, so if you want to go ahead and move on to the next slide. Um, so here's going to be our employee benefits and discounts. We definitely have a lot of different benefits to offer our employees. Um, first off is a great work environment. We have discounts all over um, the world with different hotels. Dimension Development does oversee uh, many different hotels and resorts, not, not only the Hilton and Doubletree. We also do um, own some Marriott's as well as Fairfield's, Residence Inn. So you do have the opportunity to visit all different types of hotels all across the United States and world if you were interested in that. Um, we also do offer 50% off employee meals while traveling as well as while working. We are moving that to um, free meals shortly um, once we get the staff to cook the meals. So that is partly what we're looking for is some extra cooks. Um, we offer 401k retirement plan for full-time employees as well as paid holidays, medical benefits, including uh, vision, dental, um, so lots of different opportunities. We do offer free parking as well as a lot of different recognition programs. Um, we currently have um, employee, employee of the month recognition as well as um, management of the quarter and then just a couple parties throughout the year to make sure our employees are definitely um, getting that thank you for their hard work. Um, our most recent party was for Labor Day um, where we got some White Castle burgers and um, had a little celebration all together. Um, and then we also do offer uh, bus cards. Um, so that way we can make sure we're, we're saving some money with our team uh, or our employees can save some money if they do need um, some public transportation or something like that. We'll go ahead and move on, please. Um, all right, so I'm gonna start over here with the Hilton. Um, I'm actually the human resource coordinator for this hotel. So um, if you are applying to this hotel, you will be working with me consistently. Um, I do work hand in hand with the Doubletree with my manager, Daniel. So um, he uh, is uh, very well known and kind of bounces across both hotels. So we definitely um, make sure our, our faces are known across the hotel. So we um, can make sure everyone is uh, feeling good and enjoying the environment. Uh, we do have a lot of available positions uh, from line cook, dishwasher, servers, uh, front desk representatives, um, to the maintenance positions, as well as a lot of different roles in housekeeping. Um, we are we do have competitive pay as well. Uh, we do offer raises uh, yearly, so um, I definitely recommend looking into those and seeing what position would be best for you guys there. Um, and we can move on to the next slide, please. And then over here is gonna be the Doubletree Resort. Um, they are hiring for a lot of the same positions, but they do have a couple more corporate positions as well. Um, we are looking to also um, fill a revenue finance position for more of the salaried roles. Um, we have night audit, guest services, banquet, bus person, housekeeping, uh, just a lot of different positions. If you scan that, uh, it will bring you directly to our website to apply. Uh, you can also go to the Dimension Development website and then put in which hotel you're more interested in. So um, you can go to the properties section and then just put in Doubletree Resort or Scottsdale Hilton based off which hotel you'd like to apply to but you can definitely apply for either and see which, which hotel is a better fit for you. Um, we do, because we are sister hotels, um, we do 
sometimes bounce around and ask for employees to come and help um, for banquets or something like that if you were wanting some extra money as well. Um, but that's basically it for my hotels. We definitely recommend applying today. We Our hiring process is very quick. We can get everybody turned around within the same week and get you started um, by next weekend. So definitely apply if you have any questions or concerns. My name again is Raquel Cullimer and I'm the Human Resource Coordinator with the Scottsdale Hilton. Thank you so much. Thank you, Raquel. We appreciate you going through that. Next, I'm going to turn it back to the pipeline team. So Jasmine is going to explain the job matching process to you all. Hi, um, so happy everyone's online still. I um, want to provide some more information on the platform. So Pipeline Arizona is the career matching and exploration platform built for the Arizona community. We operate as a nonprofit. So um, we really um, you know, thrive and build our success around building Arizona's talent pipeline. Um, that's what makes us happy. And, and we want to ensure that you are matching with um, the right employers. And for employers, we want to make sure you're getting the qualified candidates you need during this season. So for the candidates um, today online who have created a Pipeline Arizona profile and who have uploaded a resume, you are awesome and good to go. Um, you will receive notifications about um, the employer's jobs we have here today online um, if you match with those skills and associated job posts. For those of you who haven't had the chance to create your profile, um, you can do so by going on to tourism.pipelineaz.com. I will also, um, if I have the ability to drop that link into the chat. But again, it's tourism.pipelineaz.com. Um, and so yeah, you will have the opportunity to build your profile um, and attach skills um, as well as your resume onto your profile for the employers here and the employers on our own platform to view. Next slide, please. So again, we are here to help you match with the perfect career. We use a skills-based algorithm to match you with those relevant career opportunities. Um, we also have career coaches on the platform. So if at any point you get stumped and you're like, I, I'm not sure what my next steps are, go ahead and shoot our career coach a DM. They're here to provide you with that support. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. So I'll go ahead and walk through how it works. So on the exploration side, if you're trying to look at industry news um, within hospitality and tourism, you can go onto our industries page and search all of that wonderful information. You can also see industry news, um, probably around our wonderful employers here today, um, and we'll help you um, basically discover those opportunities for employment right away. Next slide, please. You can also see job and education and salary data as well. So if you're not sure um, which opportunity you align with most, you can dive a little deeper on the page as well. Next slide. And again, you will be matching with jobs. Um, as soon as you create your Pipeline AZ account and upload your resume, you will start matching with the employers participating in today's event um, for the entirety after the event. So once you create an account, you are all set and you will continue to match with those employers and jobs. Next slide, please. All right, and so we'll walk through kind of how to set up your profile for anybody um, who needs a little more clarity. Next slide, please. So you'll go ahead in the top right corner, corner you'll click register. Um, that will take you to basically, you know, registration page where you can fill in your login information, um, your information, you can attach a profile picture. Um, next slide, please. And then you will build your job match profile. So this is where you take an assessment, fill in your re relevant skills, um, as well as upload your resume. Again, this helps us match you with your ready to entry jobs um, and other jobs that you could potentially go into in the future based on your interests. Um, next slide, please. You can also add your education and experience. So this is your job match profile. It's gonna look very much like a LinkedIn profile. Um, you can go as far as providing a bio, you can provide your address and email for employers to contact you directly. Um, and again, the more you build this out, the, the, you know, the better your profile will look. Really, it's like a LinkedIn profile or a Facebook profile. It really helps employers understand um, who you are as a candidate. Next slide, please. 
And yes, additionally, so you can upload as many documents as you'd like. So that includes letters of rec, your resume, um, or really any other supporting um, documents you'd like to include, um, as well as certifications. Next slide, please. Awesome. So just to reiterate, again, when you take that skills-based assessment, those skills will be attached to your profile as well. So for employers viewing your profile, they can see um, all the wonderful skill sets you have, um, as well as those associated interests. Next slide, please. And you can access your profile anytime. So upon going on to pipelineaz.com, um, all you do is sign in. If you ever forget your password, you'll hit that question mark to reset your password. Um, it's a very easy um, user experience. Um, I have a bias <laughs> perspective here, but again, we are always here to help you. So um, at the bottom of the page, there's a contact support button. If you need help, you can also contact your career um, coach um, in the top right corner as well. Next slide, please. All right, and again, so, you know, searching those jobs, you just use that top navigation where you're searching for opportunities. Um, that's where you can type in an employer name, a job name, um, so a specific role name, um, and they um, there will be an aggregated um, search for you um, where you can match with um, perfect opportunities. Next slide, please. Wonderful. And to reiterate, you have a career coach. So your career coach is here for you. Um, in that top right corner is your message box to that career coach. Um, any questions pertaining to jobs, um, if you need help you know, editing your resume, please go ahead and use that concierge service. Um, we are here for you um, to help you find your next opportunity. Next slide, please. Wonderful. So again, sign up today um, for this specific event. We ask you to go to tourism.pipelineaz.com. Um, however, if you accidentally still sign up on pipelineaz.com, that's not a problem. Um, you will still be set to go for the event. And we just ask that you do um, specifically go through that front door. And if you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me an email. My email is jchamblin at pipelineaz.com. Um, and I will try to drop that in the chat if that is applicable. Awesome, but thank you so much. Happy to be here. Awesome. And yeah, I'll go ahead and give an additional go. shout out. So these are the employers um, also on Pipeline AZ who did not um, speak on our panel today, but they are on Pipeline Arizona with their job postings. So please check them out. Thank you, Jasmine. Um, thank you to all the employers that came in today. We really appreciate all the information you shared. We had some questions come through today, and I just want to make sure we're addressing these before we completely close out. Uh, Dan, do you, we have a question for State Parks. Um, I'm a U.S. permanent resident, soon to be a U.S. citizen. What are my chances working for Arizona State Parks? Well, very good. You, first step is to apply. Uh, and, and again, I wouldn't be shy about applying for any position of interest uh, because, again, uh, there might be uh, some parts where uh, an application process is very competitive. There might be somewhere there aren't as many applicants. So don't limit your opportunities. Uh, but as long as you're... Uh, You've got all the, the proper paperwork, et cetera, to be um, approved for, for work in the United States, you won't have an issue. Um, again, one of the things that, that we offer here, and I think a lot of the uh, employers that talk today, um, you, you gotta put your, your name in the hat to get in there. And, and I'd encourage everybody to do that because regardless of what level you're gonna start at with our organization and the other groups that talk today, um, you know, you, you're going to have the chance to get that career path started, and tourism is a great industry for that. Um, as we saw a lot of the people evidence today of where they started, um, you know, I, I got my start in parks uh, working at a concession stand and, and, and you know, frying fries. And, and so that's the kind of thing that, that the, the possibilities are limitless. Greatly encourage people to apply, um, you know, as Pipeline Arizona talked about. You can get that career coaching if you have a question like that. Don't be shy about asking you asking it, and I, I appreciate you bringing that up. Great answer. Thank you so much. 
This one is for Marie. Uh, with, what's the name of the program where you can spend a year and learn operations? There so, yes, it's called our Voyage Program or Voyagers. Um, it's a leadership development program that's put on primarily by Marriott University program. Um, you apply and you do a 12 to 18th month um, uh, work experience, I would say. Um, uh, and you learn hands-on on the job. There's lots of virtual training in disciplines, uh, accounting, finance, culinary engineering, food and beverage rooms, etc. cetera. Uh, so you immerse yourself in the operations and you network with different uh, other voyagers in the area um, and you engage with Marriott senior leaders. Um, it's a fun program. And then you graduate and then you move on to uh, hopefully a management position. Thank you. Um, to anybody else who has a question, please use your Q&A function. We'll be able to see your question and uh, put it in the rotation to get it answered. So we have a, a general question for all of our uh, hiring managers here. As someone who is moving to Phoenix in August from out of state, what tips or advice do you have as I've had interviews say they will not even consider me until I'm in Arizona? So anybody can answer that one. Um, I would say that when we're posting positions right now, we're looking to fill them immediately or as soon as possible. If you're coming in August, my suggestion would be that either you apply as you close, you get closer to the date because the position that you apply for now might, will probably be closed in August. Or I would suggest that she reach out to one of the folks that are on the call or the HR department so that you can stay in touch and build that relationship. And as your time is coming close to move to Arizona, that they will let you know what's available um, and then you know, give you the link to apply to the latest and greatest position that is opened. There's there's plenty of opportunity. So um, I I do not think that you would have any trouble <laughs> finding a position here in, in Arizona in August. Uh, obviously, depending on which area you're looking at, is it the hotels or is it the parks or who, who, who you have an interest in, in joining. But building that relationship with, a fo with folks reaching out, um, you can reach out to me. Uh, um, we can get you in touch with you know, one of the other Marriott's in the area if that's where you're living. Um, so we're here to help you. We'll find you a job. <laughs> Thank you, Marie. Um, so we have another general question. What are the opportunities available outside of the Valley? Well, um, today we had over 40 employers with hundreds of jobs available and you can see plenty more here on the list here um, in that are in the pipeline system. Many of these brands represented um, for Hilton, Hyatt, Marriott, they have statewide opportunities. So you can look for work and Flagstaff and Tucson as well. So the state opportunities are well covered here. Um, resorts and hotels have a variety of opportunities. So you can grow your career in various ways from food service to customer service to spa operation. There is a lot to do within this hotel industry and hospitality industry. And many of these employees work their way up to management positions. So it's a great place to grow your career. Uh, there are also jobs available in other segments of the tourism industry, such as tour guides, park rangers, and there's just so much more that you can consider and really look at and, and try to understand what works for you. Just a lot of great opportunities here in this industry. And just to wrap it up here, I think we've got one more question for Jasmine. What is case, what is a case management manager ID, group ID? Uh, where do they find that? That's so that's if you're using the platform as a case manager, um, we open that to um, nonprofits or organizations um, who are helping job seekers um, as a case manager. So um, if you're going into the platform as a job seeker, just bypass that. That does not apply to you um, because the platform is also used for case management. It is just on there um, for those that it applies to. So just go ahead and bypass that. Thank you. Thank you. I think that wraps up our question, our Q&A session for today. And that pretty much brings us to the end of 
Um, hold on, we've got another one raised. Yes, uh, I encourage you to kind of really look through everything that pipeline has to offer in terms of all the resources and employers that are available through the system. I encourage all the job seekers to really kind of go through and utilize the information and the resources that were shown today so they can get connected with some really great job opportunities. And with that, we will wrap this up and we look forward to working with all of you soon in the future. Thanks to everybody for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day.